Well, hello, my beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your twin flame reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. As you can see, I'm back in my usual surroundings. Thank you so much for bearing with me for sound. If you'd like to win a personal reading, please check out your major quickie. I uploaded it a couple of weeks ago for your sign. All details are in that video there. This is your twin flame reading, so let's get straight to it, my beautiful Scorpio. Oh, straight away we have fun times and we have gifts. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Ooh, that one just flipped right around. We have money. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Guide Angels, can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio regarding their twin flame connection? We have control and we have passion. Well, ain't that the truth? Now, let's get uh, straight to uh, Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels uh, for what they'd like to discuss. Thank you so much. Wow, straight away. We have Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You know what, Scorpio? I did a meditation and uh, did a pre-shuffle beforehand, and that was the first card that came out. It's coming out again. And I thought, no Scorpio is ever going to do that. But uh, this is what they want to discuss, so that's uh, how I'm going to give it. Now we have It Is Safe For You To Love. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? And we have very soon. Oh, wow, they've given us a timeline as well. Interesting. So, um, for those of you who are interested, um, I'm using um, Amira's Love Oracle to open and also the Doreen Virtues. So we have fun times. As soon as I touch this card, they really are indicating the one. Okay? Um, the, the finger in the air, the one. So, um... When I get uh, this card and I touch this, it's it's giving me an energy of you and this person, when you met, you met absolutely at the right time, but also at the wrong time. So they're giving me this indication that um, your person, your twin flame connection may have had some sort of addictive um, tendency uh, in terms of perhaps substances, uh, going out, doing a lot of part partying. Um, they were giving their uh, energy elsewhere at the time and they were immature in an immature energy uh, now what they're giving me here is as soon as you met this person you knew that they were the one uh, there is that um, really highly energized cord uh, connection straight away it's like a laser beam as soon as you saw this person I mean it wasn't a case of um, you know you met this person you got to know them and then you thought oh I think this person's the one it wasn't that it was literally boom this is the one I just know so um, th this is the feeling I'm picking up on here for you and your twin flame connection it's almost like the stars aligned for your meeting but uh, interestingly enough this is how twin flame connections usually go uh, the stars align for you to uh, either bump into this person or in some way meet them in extraordinary or unique circumstances you immediately know that this person is the one and immediately this person is not in the right place for the connection this is what I'm, I'm giving uh, th they're giving me here um, now um, they're also indicating that as soon as you met this person, um, even your your soul tribe, your friends and their friends kind of knew there was something special between you and your twin flame. Because there's more than one hand, they're highlighting there's more than one hand here that recognizes that uh, you had met your person, you'd met your twin flame, the one, okay? Um, nobody else comes close to you in this union and even your twin flame recognizes that as soon as they met you they knew as well they knew that there was something special about you you may not have even talked there was no even communication it was a feeling deep in the gut it's like it just sucker punched uh, to the heart they're well they're saying higher higher so sucker punch to the heart is the energy they're giving me here um that your 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 twin flame your counterpart felt as soon as they met you and then they did a little bit of um, getting into their own head and they've got some serious, because controls come up there. This person, they do not like to um, show their feelings. They keep it all under wraps, okay? Everything needs to be unified and organized in their life. And they were not ready for a twin flame connection. So they were like, I need to push this away. I need to just make sure it's over there so that it does not interrupt with the sphere 
of the world that I've built for myself. That's the energy that they're giving me here. Um, but they recognize you're the one, they know. Uh, there's no doubt about it in this person's mind, um, as much as there is no doubt about it in yours, okay? Um, the bond between you, it is still highly charged. So as much as you may have decided you're done and you're done with this connection because it's so difficult, twin flame journeys are often the most hardest journeys, most painful journeys to uh, go through and accept that it's going to be this way until such time as there is a higher ascension and you either come back in union with your twin flame or you uh, decide to walk away from the connection because the person uh, has refused to learn the lessons um, and then it's a mirrored energy, okay? So there may be also lessons within you that you have to be learning at this present moment in time. During the separation period, we're both meant to go off and ascend without each other. We're meant to trigger um, the trigger each other and know uh, sort of from there, pick up on the lessons we're meant to uh, have in this lifetime, work on them and then ascend. Um, but the bond between you is so energized um, this person may have even tried to con disconnect the bond, but it only energized it further. You can decide not to be with your twin flame in this connection, in this lifetime. Uh, that is your choice. You can walk away, but the bond will always remain, okay? Um, and this person... I've got a really cold breeze coming on in here. This person, it feels like this person's starting to accept... They may have tried to run away, but they cannot run away from the fact that you're the one. No matter where they go, they're giving me, no matter where this person goes, no matter who this person meets, it's always Scorpio on their mind. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. It's almost like this person is haunted by you um, because they, their guides are really pushing them, really ascend. Know your path, know your prosperity path. Your life purpose is meant to be with your twin flame, Scorpio, Scorpio. So it's really haunting them. And... They may have used substance abuse in order to numb the voice uh, because they're really indicating, uh, well, they're, they're actually indicating alcohol. I'm not seeing any, uh, I'm not seeing anything other than alcohol. They're just showing me glasses chinking um, there. So it's, it's very much sort of um, running away from their feelings. Now we're going to go deeper and find out why. Um, <laughs> You know, they just give me an energy here. Um, this person, they could be in a crowd of a thousand people. And if Scorpio is right at the back of a thousand people, they can still feel you. They know that you're there. There is that sort of bond between you and this person and vice versa. Okay. So this person, you're second to none to this person and they recognize it. Um, Powerful energy, um, but very distressing because they're denying. There is a denial here, uh, but they are spiritually ascending. We have the gifts box, okay? Now they've been given a gift and whatever this gift is, it has shocked them. Now I don't often get this energy with this card, but they have opened a whole load of spirituality because of it. Whatever this gift is, they've been given by somebody. I feel it's somebody close to them. Perhaps either uh, someone in their soul tribe is giving them something really to think about. Now that doesn't mean that they've given them a physical gift and they've opened a box and going, oh, I need to think about Scorpio. Um, what they've been given is something to really think about. So perhaps a friend, a soul tribe member has um, given them uh, a story or a sentence because I really feel it's verbal has said something to them something about life being too short you know and being happy um, and they've gone well my happiness was always with Scorpio but I've denied it so this person's ruminating they've just given me the word ruminating and uh, there's a lot of transcending here as you can see there's a lot of growth coming out of that box and there's some butterflies butterflies always connect to the death card scorpionic energy for big changes this person is starting to ruminate as i said on um spirituality they're starting to ascend they're starting to unravel the mess of uh, their childhood or some sort of ancestral wounding. They haven't given me either or yet, so um, I'm going to come to it. Uh, we're going to get deeper into it and find out. But they're looking at cycles in their life where they went round and round and round or they were not their highest self. And they're starting to unpack all this information right now. And still, they're coming up with Scorpio is the one. No matter how much they try and unpack 
a different box, it's still Scorpio that's in the box. That's what it really is haunting them in the, the way that they treated you. Now, I feel like they did go after finances, their career as well. Um, and that's why they denied the connection. Um, also, this person is very psychic. Your, your twin flame is, and you as well, because it's mirrored energy, your twin flame is very psychic and they have denied it. They have ran away from it. They're very scared of it. They've uh, had some sort of, they may have even, even told you about it. They had some sort of spiritual experience when they were younger. Uh, perhaps uh, they're giving me an energy that they uh, were visited by uh, either a past relative or uh, they, were, they were given a vision of somebody, okay? And it scared the bejeebies out of them. And from then on, they've actually tried to block it all off. Uh, they're starting to unpack that now. Uh, they may have talked to you briefly about it, um, about an experience from childhood. Um, it's almost like they just pushed it in a little box, put it away, and they're like, uh, I'm just getting on with normal life. They don't want to be different. They don't want to have experienced anything out of the norm. They want to stay in their lane. This is uh, the energy that I'm getting. But they're unpacking it all now. And uh, yeah, they're still gravitating back to Scorpio. Um, now we do have money here. Oh, Scorpio, this is for you. Scorpio, you may have buried your head uh, in your finances, uh, getting your business off the ground during the separation period between you and the Twin Flame. As much as you have tried, and you have tried a lot, to um, understand this connection, reject this connection, run away yourself from this connection, because you know, you got self-worth, but you know how you feel and you do not, you cannot deny how you feel. So this person, you know they're meant for you, but there's nothing you can do when it's a one-sided energy. Now you've given a lot to this connection and they gave some to the connection, but then they withdrew because it got too scary um, because it meant doing a lot of spiritual work. You triggered something in them and they may have triggered something in you as well. Uh, something to do with control issues, definitely, because they're really illuminating that for me now. Uh, there is possible abandonment issues here, but uh, we'll go deeper and find out. As a result, I feel like you've buried yourself in your career. You're getting to the top of your game. You're really um, working out how to financially structure your future so that you're in a very good place um, and, and with solid foundations. And you're not waiting around for this person. That's your go-getting, okay? So that's what I'm... I'm you know, even if you're like doing your sort of day-to-day -day stuff, you're just, you know, putting a little bit away for, for the future. There's something about just putting it a little bit away. Um, so also there's an energy here that money never hurt you, okay? And uh, it's, there is a, there is a pain here, a deep-rooted pain, because Scorpio, you don't give your heart to everybody. And uh, it, it takes a lot for you to uh, love. And when you do love, you give everything. It is wild abandon. You give your, you give yourself. It's not just, uh, it's not just love. It, you give yourself because you merge with the other person. You, uh, it's like empathy, but also it's, it's like you feel them. You feel the ebb and flow of their spirit. And because um, this person um, ran away from the connection or pushed you away, I'm getting energy more that they pushed you away. There's, there's a coldness. Um, about this person. They may have uh, in some way been quite uh, verbally mean to you in order to push you away. Um, and as a result, you don't often gravitate towards money. You're here for the love. You're here for the soul ascension. You understand uh, the deep psyche of human beings. And money, yes, it's wonderful to be at the top of your game, but it's more about your craft. It's about the respect that your craft and being good at it, mastering it, gives you, okay? It's about your integrity more than it is about money because money feels like it's a dirty word. Um, but there is an energy here that, well, until such time as my person ascends, money never hurt me. So I'm just gonna bury myself in that. Now that's an aside, but your person, your person, your twin flame is very, Okay, no, they're correcting here. Your person at the time of meeting was very money oriented. That's changing. They're starting to become, um, oh, I hope I'm saying this right, word right, altruistic. altruistic? Wow, I'm gonna have, I have a feeling I know what that word means, but they're giving me it and I, I'm hoping it is what I think it means. Uh, 
it's more giving this person's um you know they, they they're building up their financial empire but they're now ascending spiritually and they want to be more giving to others um whereas when you met them first that was not the case okay uh they were very they may have even chosen situations or people over you because of money okay this person uh something from their childhood um they were told that money, um, oh, okay, so maybe you've got a Leo placement because um, there's something in the Leo reading that came up also, um, which was um, marry for money, work for love. Lo no, sorry. Sorry, I just need to say what that is. Yeah, marry for money, work for love. So I'm getting in, yeah, uh, basically this person was always told, go for someone who has finances, um, because at the end of the day, as long as you love what you do, um, you know, you can put your love into your craft, but uh, in terms of partnering up with somebody, go for someone who is a little bit more financially stable. That's the, this is what your twin flame has been given in their childhood um, by a, a parent figure or guardian type figure who was very badly burned in love, okay? So they're taking on the sins of the fathers as it's called um, there is an ancestral wounding that has been passed on to your person and uh, they believed it until now they're unpacking it something that their friend or someone very close to them that they care about has said to them has managed to make their whole world almost turn upside down also with what's going on around the world at the moment that happened around about uh, February March time they started thinking different things um, I feel like March into April, they really got scared and they started to wonder where they're happy and Scorpio is the energy that I'm getting. Now we have control. This person, everything in their life has been controlled very much from a young age. They've been expected to grow up quite quickly, perhaps even look after the family quite quickly. Um, they've got a lot of control issues, okay? Now they may have tried to, uh, it filtered into your relationship is what they're giving me. Um, it may have even triggered some of your own control issues from childhood um, where you had to grow up earlier than usual uh, you had to be you had to act more in an adult fashion because of a certain circumstance okay um, but what they're indicating here is um, your twin flame may have um, tried to control the situation bury their own feelings and push you away um, by saying very mean things but also calculated things uh, which they knew they would push you away because they couldn't handle this connection they were not ready for it they they had a career path and they were uh, listening to whatever they were given in childhood to go after a career and you know love is really secondary if at all okay um oh uh what they've given me is this person's uh, masculine figure in their life um when they were growing up, their guardian on, on the masculine side, um, they were present occasionally in their lives, um, but more often than not, this person had extramarital affairs. Okay, uh, that's uh, and this person, your twin flame, uh, recognized this as why would you get close to anybody in love when your partner will always do that? Um, so they've brought that. There is a mistrust here of love because. Um, they feel like if they actually truly gave their heart to anybody, that person would um, cheat on them. So it's best for them to be the person who is disconnected from um, relationships so that they don't get hurt. Um, but they're doing themselves a disservice. This is what they've just given me. They're doing themselves a disservice. Now, I don't really want to go into this, but... Uh, hmm, okay. Um, this person's very guarded. And it's mirrored energy, Scorpio, because twin flames often mirrored energy. So this could be you also. There is something about sexuality here. Um, very guarded about their sexuality. So either they had an experience uh, that was not very nice. They're very closed. Okay, this person... Yeah, they're very closed. There's no intimacy here when it comes to sex. But you got in. You got into the you you manage to activate their heart it's not just about passion this person actually holds on to you um as a pillar of strength it's almost like 
you feel them and they know that you know now I don't know what that means but they were giving me you they know that you know so you have picked up on something that has not perhaps been said about an event that may have been some sort of either abuse but it's, it's something sexual here uh, as I said I don't really want to go into that they're very guarded um, I'm not a, a professional to go into that area so uh, I'm just gonna leave it there but they were just giving me, they know that you know. Okay. Um, mm. Now we also have, I'm just going to move on. Uh, um, uh, passion. I mean, it was off the charts. Okay. This person does not trust their body to a lot of people. Okay, Scorpio. And you may have felt that. There was something, <laughs> it's so interesting. There's something very pure about this person, but equally dark and it's it feels like you both when you are in each other's company there's something very animalistic but at the same time very pure about your connection this person they just long to hold on to you forever but they're scared and i know it sounds very skewed in their logic they're scared to give themselves over to you because they recognize that to be vulnerable well this is how they've been taught to be vulnerable is to be weak and um, they do, all they want to do is just hold on to you. They see you as very strong, uh, very supportive. You got them and they got you. They saw you without even speaking. You saw each other. Okay. You understand each other and they see that you are um, a healing entity. Okay. But they just were not willing to go to that place at that time. And they regret it big time. This person, I mean, this person cries a lot. I don't even want to touch on their pain because it's really quite deep and um, sorry I one second <clears throat> anyway I'm just moving on from that because it's very painful and I may not finish the read <laughs> if I continue there um, what they're giving me here though is this person um, they want to find their way back to you because you are home and they don't know how to find their way back to you um but all they want to do is just hold you and um it's more it's more than passion it goes deeper than that and this person um they allowed themselves to let go when they were with you and that scared them uh, because this person keeps a tight control over everything in their life but because of the passion between you and this person that went deeper than ever they've gone before they just got scared because they felt like they were losing control of um, what they built in their facade, the bravado, okay? Now we also have express your love. Scorpio, as soon as I said, as soon as I picked, uh, well, I shuffled and this card came out the first time round and it's come out again, I was like, no Scorpio is ever going to accept this card, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Now, I have to say, with this card, it's difficult energy. This person is going to uh, connect to you. They are gonna come back and communicate to you, okay? But you ha are guarded because of what happened in the past. Now, that's completely understandable. And how do you get over that guard, that wall that you've built, that shield? Because once you're burned by somebody, and I feel like this has been a couple of times around, this person has come around, you try to make it work a couple of times, and it's still the same result. And it gets harder and harder and harder until you're like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I got nothing left to give. I've given everything and still it's not enough. This person is projecting, okay? Because whatever it is from their childhood, they felt like they were just not enough. And they've put you on a bit of a pedestal. Believe it or not, you may not feel like that, but this person has raised you quite high in their esteem. And they feel like they cannot match you. So the best way is to project their feelings of self-worth onto you, make you feel like you're not enough so that they can feel like they will not lose you. It's better for them to walk away and protect their heart, even though that's equally painful. Um, it's better for them to walk away for them rather than you ever walk away from them. But you would never walk away. This is the problem. You'll only walk away if you're disrespected. And I feel like this person has just, they've done one, They've done one thing that has just made you stop in your tracks and go, enough, enough. I'm not a fool. I know what I feel. And it's not, 
Um, it's not foolish to have those feelings. You're, you know, it is safe for you to love. That's what they're giving here. Um, but you need something. You need them to express something before you tell them everything of how you feel. Because I feel like you didn't give them the full depth of your feeling the first or the second time round. You withheld because they triggered something in you. Okay, so there is a withholding here. Um, Spirit is saying, when this person comes back towards you, and you'll know when the moment is right, Scorpio. You have to use your intuition on this. I cannot tell you when. But tell them everything. Express your love. Show them who you truly are. Because I feel there's a, a part of you that was hidden. Okay? Uh, because you're also scared. You're a warrior when it comes to love. You know, when you love, you love with wild abandoned, uh, abandonment. But this was scary. Even you may have just gone, whoa. This is, I'm getting into uncharted territory here and I feel like you put the brakes on a little bit also and when one person puts the brakes on the other person puts the brakes on and then you put it on even further and before you know it the distance is getting bigger and bigger and bigger until all of a sudden there's silence because nobody knows what else to say because it's too scary okay so that's where the distance the separation has come on in but when this person comes towards you and they will they're coming it says very soon here you need to know whether you want to continue this twin flame journey with this person or whether, uh, you know, it has come to the end. Um, now, there is an opportunity here. There is a choice. They're only highlighting the pillar, uh, which is a strong pillar foundation of expression. As you can see, this person is building a strong foundation there by admitting their love. So this person is gravitating, this feminine figure is gravitating towards the masculine. On the other side, there is the choice. You can just stand there and just accept it and decide with that sword pointed down that you're not going to express yourself. And as a result, as you can see, all these plants, they're in dark. They're in gray. There is no growth. Okay? It will just fade away. So you do have a choice. Um, we all have free will. But if this person does come towards you this time round and decides they want to um, have, well, they just gave one last stab at it. That's what they've just given me, one last stab at it. If, um, then you get to decide. But there is something still weighing you down here. Uh, they're indicating um, there is something. I'm just going to try and check in because... There's something still weighing you down here. There's a shadow. I feel like it is the pain. Uh, I think it's uh, you're still carrying like a pocket of pain here um, for what they did in the past. There was something in particular that you thought, no, enough. That is disrespect. And um, that needs to be looked at. And if you can get over that, then, um, I mean, it shouldn't be just your job. This person should be coming back and apologizing and really doing the work they are sending that's what you need to know <clears throat> but in order to proceed um this person um there's control issues there's something weighing you down ego ego and pride ego and yeah this is for both of you ego and pride it is it's almost like it's almost like you and this person playing poker. That's how they're showing it to me now. And two people have got a set of cards. No one is showing their cards. They're at the table. The faces are completely poker straight. You've got an amazing poker face, Scorpio. Ne no one can see past how you truly feel if you don't want them to. And uh, it feels very much like stalemate kind of energy. Okay. Um, now we also have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to receive and give the highest energy of all. So, um, I mean, they're indicating in both, in all cards here, really, it's it's up to you this time to decide what you want, whether you want to accept this person back because they are coming back. And you know it deep down, you know they're coming back. Um, they are coming back very soon, actually. Um, they, they're showing me the, uh, the full moon, so Hunter's moon is very, very important. End of October there for you. Um, but there is a discussion that needs to be had, is what they're giving me, and the discussion is about communication. Funnily enough, um, it's about the lack of communication, the lack of laying it all out on the table, okay? Because it's scary for that person to make the first move. Um, both of you are wearing armor, but this person has raised you up. Now, 
If you're to move forward, it will be victorious, but communication is key. And also, there's something about protection here, as in protecting your heart. Um, they're showing me like the castle, um, you know, the, the castle turret there, um, about being aloof, almost looking at the situation like, well, you did me wrong, so you need to apologize, and I'm not really talking to you unless you say the right words to me. Unless you come and say these words, I'm not discussing nothing. Now, as much as there is a wonderful psychic connection between you and your, you and your twin flame, um, <clears throat> nobody is 100% a mind reader. Okay, we can pick up on the energies, but the words, because it feels like the words are very important. It's, it's like you want a certain set of words and you're entitled to them. Of course you are, Scorpio, because this person, they, um, you know, they, they tend to go very silent when they just don't know what to say. They don't know how to. Okay, sorry, they're just giving me. Okay. Okay. Um, going to give you what they've given me. They give me a barrage of kind of like stuff all at once. Um, so one is they've given me uh, garlic spinach. <laughs> Bizarre, but true. Um, spinach with garlic in it. Uh, now, either that's a connection, a connector between you and your person, perhaps, um, you know, you never had garlic spinach until you met them, or perhaps you're eating garlic spinach at this present moment in time. Spinach is something that is healthy. It's for growth and strength. So, and also garlic is for the heart. Uh, healthy heart so symbolically I'm picking up this energy that uh, you know both of you are coming back together in union because uh, a union card did come out when I was doing um, a pre-shuffle for you uh, coming back into union with a more healthy strong heart um, so therefore there is a bit more respect between you and this person now when you come back into uh, into each other's sphere so that's what they're giving me there but I feel like it may be something that is um, that resonates with you and your person's particular relationship as well. Um, also, uh, they're giving me here, um, this person often did not know how to take your, uh, your passion because they, their upbringing was not loving. It was not passionate. It was not kind. So your passion, your love, your, all of those things, this person didn't know how to take it. Even when you argue, this person would go silent and be like, they, they couldn't, they just didn't know. It's like they had a barrier. They shut down immediately. Um, so they felt it was better to just stay away. Uh, now, they don't often give me uh, places or anything, but they give me whales. So perhaps your person has a connection to whales or uh, is uh, Celtic in some way, their family heritage, because as they're showing me whales, they're showing me a long line of ancestors. So ancestral wounding, been passed down, but uh, whales is some way relevant, okay? Now also we have very soon. So this person is coming to, uh, they're coming to communicate with you very, very soon. As I said, they're showing me the hunter's moon. Uh, it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, Scorpio, there is definitely a choice here for you uh, with this particular twin flame reading. The power is actually, and they just went for once, uh, the power is actually going to be in your court. Okay, so um, you get to decide whether you want to try this union uh, one more time. Um, this person, they really are doing the work. They're ascending, um, letting go of control issues. They actually want everything to be water under the bridge. Easier said than done because a lot of pain is passed under that bridge and, um, you know, it's hard to build that bridge again. So spirit completely understands, but this person does want to come on in and they want to be more supportive. They want to um, have the relationship that they were meant to have had with you when you first met. They wish they'd had it. All they long for, I, I can just see them every, I'm just seeing somebody right now. All they long for every night is to be in your arms. And i got no reason to say that to you, Scorpio. I know this is a twin flame connection, and they're often very painful. Sometimes people have not ascended, but the energy I'm picking up on right now is this person, they just long to be in your arms. But there is ego and pride here, which is... Um, it's a very immature reason not to be together with your twin flame, okay? So... Um, 
Now, uh, oh, they've also given me this passion that is between you. They won't let me go put this card down. Um, there is an animalistic passion between you and this person that they have never experienced in their whole life. But it's something that tr it transcends just sex. This person g is transported to another place when they're with you and it scares the hell out of them. But equally, it magnetizes them towards you. They've never felt this with anybody in their life. Um, they're starting to look into what twin flame means. This person is um, starting to research. There's a lot of knowledge going on in here. And they may start to come towards you with things like, I'm just seeing this message like, hey twin, hey twin, that's not a mistake. That, that they, they're doing, they know that you know. So that, that's what they're giving me. Anyway, we're just going to go on now to uh, the White Witch Tarot to gain the overall energy of this Twin Flame connection. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. We have the Strength card, of course. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio regarding this Twin Flame connection? What do they need to know for their highest good? Thank you so much. We have the Emperor. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please... Ooh, that one just snuck right out the side door. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. We have the sun. <gasps> this is the time. Scorpio, this person is ascending, truly ascending. Okay, this is very exciting. So we have the strength card. Leo energy, as I said, you may have had, you may uh, have a Leo placement there somewhere earlier in the reading. Um, this is about self-love. Your lesson on this uh, physical plane, both you and this person, was self-love and self-respect and the courage to love despite the obstacles. That was what you had to overcome. Now this is in your protagonist position. So this is the energy that is propelling you forward to meet uh, the timeline of coming back into union with your twin flame. And that is knowing that you are deserving of love, that you respect your boundaries, and that you have the courage to endure this um, journey, this twin flame journey, okay? Um, you have unlimited resources. This is knowing your heart, the deep of your heart. You know that what has been in your heart, you know, you've had a bit of a heart and mind battle there and you're in the position of surrendering to the universe. And that's when the spirit, um, the universe comes on in and energizes your twin flame connection. It triggers your twin flame to ascend. Once you walk away, and I mean truly walk away, when you stop checking their social media, when you stop thinking about them constantly, like sometimes you may be uh, lying awake at night and thinking I can't sleep and all I can think of is my twin flame. That's because uh, they've activated you also. So you're not just sitting there lying there all by yourself thinking about this person. This person has activated you also. Okay, so always know uh, that during these times where they cannot leave your mind is because you're in theirs also. Um, but moving forward, you're by walking away, you have activated their ascension, okay? Their ascension means you've activated them to stand on their own two feet and learn the lessons. As a result, now male or female, this is not a gender-specific reading, it's about the energy. The Emperor card. This is in the antagonist position. So they're indicating here that this person, when you met them, um, immature energy. Also ego. This person was in their pride and ego when they first met you. They may have even thought, you know what, you don't even fit in with my soul tribe. I'm going to be a big millionaire one day and I've got all these dreams about finances and having the fast car and all the fast whatever. Deep down, at the root of it all, they knew you're the one. But they had all this excess kind of immaturity, this, you know, they didn't want to think about the future in terms of love. They wanted to think about finances and structure and a dream that they have been given that was a false dream by somebody in uh, their childhood that had been burnt by love, okay? Um, they felt like they were not enough to love. This person had very, um, how can I put that? Um, Self-sabotage. And it, it triggered self-sabotage in you also, Scorpio. You may have doubted yourself frequently that you were not enough, that you, you know, you didn't have what it would, it took to be with this person or you, you, they may have made you feel like you were not enough that you, they're giving me a sentence. What do you have to offer? What do you have to offer? 
Now, this person may have said this to you, that's quite cold and calculated, but it came from their wounding because they felt like they had nothing to offer themselves, let alone to you, okay? This person feels like they lived in the void. It's a bizarre thing to say, but this is what they're giving me. They lived in the void. They didn't know who they were. They didn't know what they truly wanted because whatever it was that they were fed, they were, uh, when they were younger in the mind, um, they went to activate that. They just didn't know who they were or what they wanted. And they projected that onto you and ran away. Okay. But they want, this is the lesson to overcome, to come back into uh, their own being, to uh, be more, um, you know, respectful of union. They want to be at the best of the best. They, they're also trying to uh, level themselves up in their career, just to let you know. It feels like entrepreneurial spirit, um, but they're overcoming this now. And they are, this is the lesson that they're ascending to at the moment, okay? Uh, they're seen beneath the mask. As you can see, we got three masks here. We got the one, the, the bird of prey, okay? So this is, when I think of that bird of prey, it's an opportunist, okay? Bird of prey keeps their eye on the prize. They go after career. They go after, it's like a gambler kind of energy, okay? Um, and now they're moving into their maturity. So um, they're taking the mask off. And there you can see they're wondering who, who they are. There is a sense of uh, authenticity with this final mask there. Okay, they're coming into being, recognizing what they truly desire underneath all the masks that they have built for themselves. And also, uh, we've got that wing there right by their ear. They're being guided by spirit to come back into being. And the sun card, this is the unified energy for you and your twin flame. So um, this emperor may also be your energy too, uh, trying to get your career off the ground uh, and have been triggered in the past because of um, your twin flame journey. Um, and as I said, it's like this, if someone, if someone punches someone in the heart, you guard it for the next time and you punch back. I mean, it takes a while. Maybe you take a couple of punches before you go, hang on, I'm not taking that anymore. It's that sort of immature energy of the past that is now ascending. And we have the Sun card, another Leo card here. And this is about a successful outcome, a joyous outcome all around. This is emotional contentment, happiness, freedom, coming back in being. And also, as you can see, it's transcending the pain. That figure, that first figure, after going round and round and round, you know, the very center is the meeting point. The seed that has been sown, oh, you're the one. You're the twin flame. You're my twin flame. And then going round and round and round. And in pain, that, that figure is holding that pain. But there is the ascension. Moving up, out, and uh, spiritually ascending to the next phase, which is union. Okay? As you can see, there's like a, a secondary person behind that figure there. So it's coming into union with your person. Now, that sun card is a lot of abundance. Okay? Um, it is just flowing towards you as long as you've learned the lesson. And that's what's about to happen. And it's over the very soon card. So um, decide what it is that you truly desire, Scorpio, because you're magnetized to the universe right now. Okay, what you're thinking about, you're bringing about. Inspired action. You're turning your visions into reality. So um, this is a very important time for you. Make sure you know what it is you want. Okay. Uh, now we're just going to go uh, to the Light Seers Tarot. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Oof, the Tower. There we go. Okay, this person has received the Tower moment. So whatever this uh, person's soul tribe said to them, it's really shook them. Okay, made them very uncomfortable to discover who they truly are, what they truly want, and how they effed it all up in the first place. Ten of Swords over the Emperor in reverse. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So, and we have the Ace of Wands. So the tower. Yeah. They're feeling pretty uncomfortable right now with the way that A, they treated you. B, they effed up the connection. C, they wasted a lot of time. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of butterflies here. You can see some of them are on fire. They've been burnt. This person, whatever comic blow they're being dealt right now, um, it is allowing them to see you know, where they were when they first met you, but also how they didn't want to change, how they thought they were planning for the future and what they're planning for the future is empty. It's nothing because they haven't got you in their sphere. So it's very uncomfortable. 
It's a, it's like an aha moment, okay? Um, when you get the, the lightning bolt, and this could be happening also for you, Scorpio, that it feels, it, it's tough to step into your own power and to realize, to follow your heart, despite the pain. It is hard, okay? So it is an uncomfortable energy. Um, now, as you can see, it's, it's like an act of nature. That lightning bolt uh, hits the tower, which is normally the crown chakra. It opens up for transformation. The butterflies are all signifiers of transformation, change, endings, new beginnings, moving on, rebirth. And as you can see, the squirrel here, it's planned for the future. It squirreled away a couple of nuts there for the future, but the nuts are even on fire, okay? So money is the equivalent. This person, they thought they had their nest egg, everything like that. It's, it means nothing because the home space is empty. There's just the person, there's just a squirrel, if, if that's your twin flame. <laughs> Sorry for the analogy. But what they're indicating here is there's only one person in that sphere there, one entity in that sphere. And it's pretty lonely when you're not with your twin flame. Okay, so this person is really ascending. They're recognizing that everything they ever built was all for naught. Um, and there was, they're in that, they're in that um, right now. So you're in the strength, you're in the loving yourself phase, okay? Um, and they are receiving their, their wake up call. And as a result, they're leaving their immaturity behind. The Ten of Swords, they're, they've got a painful ego death here. And they're recognizing that, um, they went in the wrong direction, okay? They're giving me an indication, this person may have even said this, they took a few wrong turns in their life, but the biggest regret they made was taking a wrong turn with you. That's the energy I'm getting here. This person's standing alone. It's almost like they're getting a 360 of their life and the way that they dealt with everything, and they feel a lot of shame. Okay, now they may come towards you to speak that because the Ten of Swords, I really feel like they are, um, they're ascending and they're looking at themselves truly honestly, perhaps even for the first time. And they want to come and talk to you because look, we have that Ace of Wands and the Ace of Wands is about coming towards you to speak their passion, their truth. They want to, uh, they want to create with you. They want to be with you. They, they want to express how you are constantly inflaming their mind. And they, they just, no matter where they go, you're always there, okay? They, they recognize it's going to be a lot of hard work because they got the worker bee there. Uh, they're showing me that sort of worker bee energy. Um, but they want for their happiness. Sorry, they just asked me to look at the candle and all of a sudden I'm hearing fizzing. So either you, oh, they're, show, they're fit. I'm getting a fizzing sound and now they're showing me someone popping a, like a vitamin C fizzer into a water, a glass of water. So if that's you, then there's something in this message for you. Uh, but again, I'm getting this energy about healthy. This person's, you know, wanting to be healthy uh, in heart, body, mind, and soul, that sort of thing. Um, but they want to come in and they have pure passion for you. So they're going to, they want a new start, basically, okay? Um, they cannot be without you. Um, however, they're showing me the netting in the mind. This person gets trapped a lot in their mind, okay? There's a lot of there's a lot of passion, but there is some anxiety as well. And their anxiety comes from abandonment issues. This person doesn't like to feel trapped. And they've always been told to be in a relationship that is actually based on love is to be trapped. But they're recognizing that that was a false, uh, a, a false idea that they have been implanted with from someone who had been burned in their past. A, a guardian, a parent figure, um, they're, they're receiving a lot of downloads right now, a lot of pearls of wisdom. There's a lot of pearls there. They're really highlighting for me. Um, now, I'm just going to go... Oh, no. They said no, not this deck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they also want me to have a look at the bottom of this deck. Um, because they, they're saying that uh, there is advice for you. This one? No, this one. Oops, sorry. Trust. Oh, wow. Scorpio, the biggest thing, <laughs> even I took a breath in, uh, trust. It says, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Now, obviously, we all have free will, so um, use your intuition, but they are guiding you towards having some um, faith in the situation, some uh, that miracles are about to happen here, that your twin flame is ascending. 
Thank you. They just asked me to be silent. One moment, please. I'm telling you, Scorpio, you cannot, you cannot write this. You just got three sixes. Sixes are the number of love. I mean, I'm shocked. I'm shook myself. As a, unbelievable. So you have the six of cups. You have the six of swords and the six of wands. You know what? Make that of what you will. Number six, the major arcana is the number of the lover's card. Okay. Six is the number of love about strong foundations in love. Six of cups is the reunion card. This person is coming back. They do not, they cannot let you go. They, they will not, they will not let you go. They want a reunion here. Um, they're receiving downloads from spirit. Uh, they want to come back and give you something healthy. Okay, as you can see, they're, they're offering, um, it's almost like something peaceful, but they're showing me as an aloe vera plant. So aloe vera is healing. Okay, that's their property, is, is healing. Uh, it's nourishing, it's growth. This person is going to offer you um, their heart that they're giving me this person's going to offer you finally their heart uh, it's always been with you you may not have felt it um, but it was damaged and now it, it, they've they've turned stuff around they want to offer you something healthy not damaged anymore and they solid foundations this person wants to be in a bubble with you they want you know it's you and them against the world and they know that now they've always known it but now they're accepting it this is acceptance right here and you can see um, they're coming back around. They're moving away from, they're having that ego death. It was a necessary transition with that six of swords, but it is about relocation uh, in terms of spirit. So um, it means here, they're moving away from anything that was uh, tumultuous, anything that was drama. And they're going to uh, a calmer space in terms of their emotions. And they're accepting of who they are. Also, as you can see, uh, there's two people in that boat. They want that other person in their boat to be you, Scorpio, okay? They want to take this journey of life with them. Beautiful energy, really beautiful. Um, and it is divinely guided. The sword's pushing them out to a more calmer space. They're protected and guided at this time. So this person, they, they finally want it to be you and them against the world. And we have that six of wands. Six of Wands is victory. It is uh, good news. It's the successful union. And as you can see, um, this person here is pole vaulting over all of the obstacles, over the rivalry, everything, over the ego, ev over everything. Passion and love wins. They're just giving me a sentence, love wins the day. Love wins the day. Um, and they're showing me the yin and yang symbol. The yin and yang symbol so perhaps you're looking at a yin and yang symbol as you listen to this message because it's something i'm seeing like it's someone's vision um or you've just drawn it uh the yin and yang symbol uh is very very important yeah that's what they're giving me but ultimately this is a successful union if you want it to be okay because this person's going to come back on in and tell you how they feel now um just get any final uh Cards for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guide Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Hmm. We have the Six of Wands, but in reverse. We have, oh, I see, I understand. Uh, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, so that's the abandonment. So this person will discuss their, um, and we have the Eight of Wands. That is not a surprise at all. Okay, Eight of Wands is about speed. Um, so, but here we have, um, this person is going to tell you why it did not work in the past. The six of wands in the reverse. This person, they have a big lack of confidence. It's over the strength card, okay? So as much as they're coming into being, they're learning to be more confident in themselves. They also have a feeling that the way it was left in the past, you may reject them. This person has deep-seated abandonment issues. It may... Uh, have been triggered because you and this person have mirrored energy so you may have had abandonment issues from childhood yourself but i'm getting that this person um they have a fear of i feel like this person doesn't like to be on their own often and not just in a romantic sense i mean they don't like to be alone with their thoughts either because it always brings them back to childhood there's something there's an event that 
they don't want on their mind and they can't escape it. But anyway, um, they, they basically this person, they want to talk to you about how uh, they abuse their power. They knew that you loved and gave your absolute all as much as you could. They they just corrected me as much as you could, despite the circumstances, because you still had a bit of a shield. They're still giving me this little shield there that you had guarding your heart. They want to uh, express how they sabotage the connection. Um, and it was, it feels like they're taking ownership of the problems. They recognize they sabotage the connection out of a lack of confidence and they gave up on the connection too quickly and they retreated. It was better to retreat than to fail. Bizarre logic, but that's what they're giving me here. It, the deep seated uh, energy, the reason why abandonment issues. Okay. This person um, felt like they were not enough and, um, They don't like to be phased out, so they recognize, and it's unfortunate, they recognize that the way to hurt you the most, because you are them, it is a twin flame journey after all, the, the hardest, the easiest way to hurt you is to go silent, because Scorpio, uh, they feel that is how you treat people. Uh, when you are hurting, you go silent, not intentionally, it's a protective mode, um, but that hurts another person. So they learnt this quite quickly about you, and the best way to do it to you, uh, to push you away was to go silent um, but they, they they want to tell you this they want to move away from this we have the eight of wands in the upright so this is a uh, speed action they want to make changes they're coming on in to uh, discuss this with you quite quickly quite soon so it, this is the same um, spread here in this is in this position so all of it indicates they're coming to discuss their passion for you and what went wrong quite quickly so very soon so you know, have a think about this because they're showing me, they keep indicating the full moon, the, the hunter's moon for me. So, um, you know, you got from now until then to realize whether you want to continue on this twin flame journey with this person and give it another try. But this person, it looks like they've done the work and they, they are coming in health with a healthy heart to offer. And they're also offering healing to the connection. So, I mean, normally, I would say they're offering just healing to the connection, but when you have that Ace of Wands, especially with the Sun and the Six of Wands there, they, they, they want union, okay? It's not just about coming back to heal the rift in the relationship, they want union, they wanna be with you. Um, aces are divinely guided, uh, they're given as gifts, new passion, they want a new start with you, okay? So um, it's totally your call, but we have to leave it there. And they're asking me to look at Mind the Candle, they're saying mind the candle. So it feels like it, there is a timeline here. This could be maybe the, the, the they're indicating that this is pretty much um, if you and this person decide not to do it this time round, you'll be leaving it there for this lifetime. OK, that's the indication they're giving me. Now, I'm just going to give you a wisdom of the Oracle before we close. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Number 10 unfinished symphony wow of all the cards scorpio you got this one um now we, this this figure here she's dressed up she's like a harlequin okay so there's been a lot of you know harlequins they're very you know they hide a lot of pain they're very jovial very colorful trickster sometimes kind of energy but um we have this egg here Okay, so there is a new start available, a rebirth of this connection. Okay, and there is unfinished business. You and this person, I feel you're coming to a point where you're finally obeying your soul song. You're listening to it. Ten is also about endings and new beginnings. It's also the Wheel of Fortune in the Major Arcanas. Number ten is a turning point. Okay, it's a gamble, of course but it's a turning point for the better, for the positive. And um, there's two canaries here. Are they canaries? Well, they look like canaries, but they just said parakeet, parakeet. Okay, so um, parakeets, they, they mate for life, I think. I'm gonna have to check that. Don't quote me on that one. Um, I'm getting a sense that they quote, they, 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 mate for life um and this person 
is coming back because it's only you, Unfinished Symphony. So we're just going to read from the book as I wouldn't want to tell you anything wrong, but I think uh, we all can feel the energy of that card. Um, it's, it's floored me, to be honest. Um, and it says, unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, and the need to make amends. Okay, and the relationship message is, moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid, and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in your relationships when closure is denied to you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a coffee cup. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are. Make amends if needs be and declare your feelings if only to yourself. Be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door to the past so that you can set yourself free. Only then can love blossom. Okay, so it's about letting go of the pain from the past that was caused in the situation if you want to move forward. Okay, um... But I feel lessons are being learned in this situation and there is a new start available to you with that, that egg there, a rebirth or a birth of something new there. But you got to listen to how you truly feel with your intuition. Now I'm just going to give you a trinket before we go. Thank you so much for guys. Great angel. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, oh, it, Interesting. Uh, so we have eternal, okay? Um, and it's slow progress, but slow and steady wins the race. And also they're indicating here, um, this person, they feel like they, they carry their home on their back. They feel quite nomadic. So again, something in the Leo reading, because the turtle also turned up there. Um, this person has never had a place that they really call home, apart from your arms. And I know that sounds really cheesy. Even when I, it came out of my, my mouth, I was like, oh, really? That's really cheesy. But that's what they're giving me. So I'm, I'm just translating a message here. Um, but yeah, slow and said This person is quite slow, but they are coming on in. Um, I mean, it's been slow progress with this person so far, but very soon. Again, around about the 31st of October, expect a message. Where would you like this? They actually just said as uh, they want the, it on the Ace of Wands. This passion burns slow and steady for you. There's nobody else, Scorpio. Even if they've gone off and been with other people, which hopefully they haven't, but if they have, um, they're always thinking back to you. I've not picked up on that energy right now, um, but there's just such a strong longing here for Scorpio. Um, now we also have a, a fish here, okay? So emotions run deep. And um, this person may also have a Pisces placement somewhere. Okay. Also, uh, in the traditional Rider Waite Tarot deck, um, a fish pops up out of the Page of Cups, and that is uh, an offer of love there, but with an apology. Okay, so um, when you see that card, uh, it pops up out of the cup. It's a surprise, but it is attached to an apology love with an apology okay so there is um healing here with this fish um so they're just giving me a particular fish one moment please wow this has never happened before um it's like um i don't know what it's like a fish that kisses or something Tulips? Tulips? Tulip fish? I don't know if there's a tulip fish. Um, but it's a fish that has got quite big lips and it kisses or something. I'm going to look that up myself. I'm not sure what that is. If that means anything to you, two, two lips fish, um, then there's something in this message for you. Um, yeah, okay. Where would you like this? They want it on the strength card because it's all about um, the deep emotions for self and your self-worth, loving yourself um, and respecting your boundaries, okay? So digging deep into those emotions because it's a water element. Okay, I understand. Um, 
yeah, in an ocean of emotions, they're giving, um, you know, find the ones that root yourself, anchor yourself in your own self-worth, and then you can move forward in this connection. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, we will leave it there. I hope, uh, look at that candle. They just said, look at the candle. And it's just like, just about. Um, I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. I'll be doing a new love reading in the next uh, couple of weeks. So, but this is your twin. Thank you so much, my beautiful Scorpio. Love and light.